you might start seeing some showers in the next couple of days, but not the kind you're thinking. The Perseids are one of the brighter meteor showers that occur every year between July 14th and September 1st, and they tend to peak around this time of year. So joining us this morning is Jim Todd, the Director of Space Science Education at OMSI. Jim, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you for having me, and good morning. Good morning. Okay, so when do you think we'll have the best chance of seeing the Perseid meteor shower? Well, it's happening right now. As you mentioned, it's already started, but the peak is going to be on uh, August 11th, 12th, and 13th. And we're expecting a, a moderate meteor shower this year. And so this is a special time of year that everybody looks forward to based on memories and going out in the summer night sky and just looking up and then watch the magic happen where we see these shooting stars are called. And, but these are debris left behind by a comet. Hmm. And so uh, there's a pair of comets which cuddle. So what you're seeing is something that's in, in space and in the near atmosphere. It's a great show. It's wonderful for chance for people to go out and enjoy the summer night sky with the Perseid meteor shower. Very cool. What are some of the ideal locations in Oregon and maybe in Washington to watch this? Well, that's a good question, and uh, the best place to, is to get away from the city, mm -hmm. and that will enhance your viewing of the Perseid meteor shower. Now, keep in mind, we have a waning gibbous moon, and the moon is really bright, and so that will diminish some of the viewing of the, the fainter meteor this year, and it's going to be pretty much uh, while we're watching the, the meteor shower for the next few nights. I was out last night, and the moon was really bright, and it mm -hmm. diminished a lot of the brighter ones. But uh, ideally, we want to get away from the city and face towards the northeast. We have a good, clear horizon at the northeast. You want to be out there around midnight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I know we were just talking this morning about we're going to have a full moon, I think, tonight. So it'll still be really bright uh, by the mm -hmm. 11th when you're saying this is really the peak. Is that, that going to impact our viewing a lot? Yeah, it does. It uh, does. And, uh, you know, that, that, that doesn't stop anybody from <laughs> going out and watch the media shower because you still have until but September 1st to be able to watch it. Okay, yeah, great point. Okay, so what should we bring to watch the Perseids? Do you need a telescope? Do you need special glasses? What do you want? No, you just need a good, <laughs> comfortable, long chair and uh, and a good night nice, uh, beverage and what have you. Just look towards the northeast. Because they can appear anywhere, above you, behind you, on the side. You just have to keep your eyes open for a few hours and enjoy the purchase media shot. It could be anywhere from 60 to 100, but wow. because of the moon, you're probably going to see only about 20 or so. Okay, but still, 20 uh, shooting stars is amazing. Uh, you kind of already touched on this, but the Perseids are so popular among astronomers and stargazers. You know, when you think of all the other things that happen out there in the universe, why is this something that people just love? Well, it's because it's something based on memory, man. It's during the summer, in the summertime in Oregon, it's clear, it's warm, mm -hmm. people are out, uh, and they're watching the sky. And a lot of them are camping or outside, and they remember these fireballs or what they call shooting stars. That's why it's memorable. Mm -hmm. And they're easy, they're fun, you don't have to have any fancy equipment mm -hmm. They enjoy the meteor shower. So it's based on a lot on memory, but this is one of nine major meteor showers in a year. It gets people talking about it, it gets people, bring people together mm -hmm. and say, wow, did you see that? And uh, they, they get kind of an opportunity to talk about it. I love that. Uh, and this meteor shower is happening uh, to align with another major celestial event, the Planet Parade. What is that? Well, that's a part of the show, actually, if it's happening, coming up. We have six planets. We have Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, uh, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn. The moon is blocking out the label for Neptune, so it's right behind the moon. Okay. But we have six planets in the morning. But really special is that Jupiter and Venus mm -hmm. uh, they're coming up on August 12th and 13th. They're going to be one degree apart. These are the two brightest planets, and they're, they're, they're the brightest object after the full moon. They're going to be just one degree apart. And Venus is going to be brighter than Jupiter, mainly because mm -hmm. it's closer. But it's one night. It's going to be through uh, the rest of August, and you'll have a chance to see the, the planet parade, they're called, when we have one or more two uh, planets are kind of lined up. So we're in the perfect spot. We had this last January mm. for the evening. Now we have it for the morning. 
Very cool. I know, I will say, actually, this earlier this morning, we did get a good look at Jupiter and Venus getting pretty close together. They were really the only thing we could see in the sky at that point in the morning, and it was really cool to see that. So I agree, this is something we definitely need to put on our calendar and look up uh, <laughs> to check out. Yeah, so if you're up and about watching the Perchief Meteor Shower, and you're still up, and up uh, during the, the night, mm -hmm. and the, watch the sunrise, and yeah. so you'll see the Planet Parade. What a treat we're going to be in for this year. Very cool. All right, I'm going to try to be up in the middle of the night for this. Uh, thank you okay. so much for telling us all about it. Jim Todd with OMSI, such a good person to talk to about this. Thank you. All right, thank you.